Specifically, this is the one in Connecticut uh, at Mohegan Sun. So I did this race uh, last year. Uh, was not my first Spartan, but was my first Spartan at Connecticut. Uh, I had done it once before in Pennsylvania, which was much more mountainy, pretty much straight up a mountain and uh, a ski mountain and then back again. So compared to that, this one was not as difficult. This one was a bit longer. Um, but as far as fun-wise, it was a lot of fun. Definitely something I recommend you do. Even if you don't run a lot, um, it, kind of a fun mud run is something to get, get you exercising, get you out there, bring a bunch of friends. Um, these kind of fun runs, that they're more specifically geared towards teamwork. Uh, as you can see, a lot of people help each other out, getting them the obstacles, which is encouraged. Um, you know, you basically help your friends along. It's, uh, it is timed, but it's not really uh, like a physical road run race where it's kind of uh, everyone's out for themselves. This is more teamwork, doing it together, having fun, uh, doing a nice sunny day in the summer, <clears throat> and you'll have a great time. Uh, it's one of these things you do not want to be afraid of mud. If you do not like mud at all and don't want to do the mud obstacles, don't do this run. Definitely a lot of mud. Uh, after the first couple times, you hit the mud, you get over it real fast. You know, it's just getting to the store. Um, and as far as the mud in this obstacle, it's pretty much just uh, spray dirt. You know, they, they make the mud, it's, it's not a big deal. Uh, I've been on some other runs where it was much more nastier. For example, Tougher Mudder, it's, it's much deeper, much more mud, and much harder. A lot easier to slip and hurt your ankle. As far as this, this um, obstacle run, the difficulty level, was a, a great beginner one. Um, you know, it could be an average shape, but there was a lot of heavy people doing this as well, so that, that's good to see. Um, as far as training wise, a lot of people, you know, would, would run and do things like that for training, run on the treadmill, go to the gym. I would say uh, put a little bit more effort into upper body things, pull ups, uh, push ups, uh, anything upper body. A lot of people do not train for these kind of obstacle runs. Uh, in that aspect, and they get tired, they get weak, there's a couple of rope pulls where you're pulling yourself up to, to the top of a rope, you need good upper body strength, tire flips, things like that, uh, that's, that, that would be deadlifts if you were doing it in the gym, so you do more of that stuff, which is, is one of the reasons I like these, they kind of mix up um, the muscles you're using. Um, as far as the, the timing, they do time it, the results are listed at the end so you can post that on uh, Facebook things like that uh, as far as pricing on this run they charge about a hundred dollars which is, is more than some of the other runs but one of the things I really like about this run is they do take pictures of you and they give you those pictures for free a lot of the other uh, runs out there you don't uh, get the free pictures as you can see right here I'm going through the mud it's about waist deep it was actually pretty kind of cool to off that day because it was a pretty hot day in Connecticut um, as far as versus other kind of fun runs, there's the zombie run, there's a warrior dash, there's a tougher mudder, those are the most popular. Um, as far as fun wise, I think I like the zombie the, the best, just because you're running from other people, that's one of the runs you'll never do that again. Um, but uh, Spartan and tougher mudder come a close um, second to that, and warrior dash would be the last. Warrior dash the least, just I didn't like the layout of the obstacles, not as many obstacles. Uh, I did it in mass, and I just didn't like the layout of, of there. It might be better in a different location. Um, one of these kind of runs is fun. It's just kind of the bragging rights is, is one of the most biggest reasons you do this. Tell your friends about it. Post the pictures on Facebook. You get some awesome pictures when you get back home and uh, look online. Um, another nice thing is you do get the headband. You get the t-shirt. So you get a couple of the things that you don't normally get or sometimes have to pay for at other runs. The distance on this run is about five miles. They say like three online, but uh, when I tracked it on my app, it was more around five. So um, 
you know, you get to be aware of that. It's a little bit longer sometimes. I did see some twisted ankles uh, when I was running past some, some people. So definitely watch your feet. Uh, there's a couple, lot of different places you can slip. You're doing a lot of obstacles. Um, one of the obstacles is the barbed wire. So definitely be careful on the barbed wire. It, it is real barbed wire. You can um, cut your back with it. As far as what to wear, um, I didn't actually wear a t-shirt just because it was so hot, but you can wear uh, a t-shirt and uh, that's good if you're on the mud and the grass so you don't get cut up. Um, a couple of things you want to do is, is you want to take an old pair of shoes. Don't go out and buy a brand new pair of shoe, uh, shoes, running shoes. You're going to get your shoes totally destroyed. Um, so I do not recommend that. This is actually the barbed wire right here. They put it not super low, but definitely low enough that um, you know, if you try to stand up, you can get hurt. This is very similar to like tougher mutter and some of these other things. Um, as you see here later, you, sometimes you can roll sideways, but they put these kind of uh, hay pieces in its way, so you really couldn't do that. But you can stop if you need to. There's there's no one kind of behind you, and if they are, they can just go around you. So don't don't feel pressure that you have to, um, you know do any kind of time limit or anything like that. You, it's based on your own time. If it takes you, you know, an hour to get finished, that's fine. It takes you four hours. No, no big deal. Um, no one's really, you know, behind you or, or, you know, making you do it at a certain speed. Um, one of the hardest obstacles I would say for me specifically was a javelin throw. Reason being is not something you can really train for unless you have a, I guess, javelin in the, in the back of your backyard or something. But, um, the obstacles weren't that difficult for me. I've done a couple of these before, but uh, the javelin is one of these things that it's just really hard to hit. So um, that I did try it a couple times. Now last uh, Spartan, I hit it first time, which is lucky. And what I would do, recommend doing is watching some of the other people before you do a lot of these obstacles. If they take a big fall, you know they didn't do it right. <laughs> and if, if they seem to do it good, you know, just copy what they do. Um, so that about takes care of it. I mean, definitely recommend this run to anyone beginner who's looking for a fun time or, or anyone who's, who's done a lot of these mud fun kind of runs. Uh, definitely a great time. Really get you pumped up um, and get you exercising. So I hope that answers uh, all your questions. If you have any other questions or comments, please leave it in the form. And uh, I'll just keep this rest of the video going just so you can see these obstacles, see what you're in for. Now, they do change the obstacles around at different uh, Spartan races. And even year to year, they're going to definitely add different obstacles, switch them up. But uh, they're going to keep them pretty similar and just maybe change up uh, either sandbag for maybe a buck full of rocks or something like that. So um, they're similar, but they're different. And that's one of the reasons that, that a lot of people go to multiple Spartan races. This actually specifically was the sprint. They do have more extreme versions, which maybe in the future I'll try. I believe they go like 10 miles and 15 miles, things like that. And sometimes you have to carry sandbags the entire time. Um, you see a lot of vets, things like that, do these uh, kind of runs, military people, which is great. And uh, generally, whenever you sign up for these, they donate some money to a good cause. So that, that's another, another great reason to, uh, to do these uh, fun runs. So, uh, yep, yeah. I hope you have a great day. And uh, let me again leave me a comment if you have any questions. Thanks.
We'll be right back. 